Hello, hello, hello. Come by and welcome back to another Marvel Snap video. In this video, we're going to be looking at the 10 decks of the week. As always, I just take these from all over the spot. Get some fun decks in here, good decks. Some of thing for everyone. Try and include everyone in when I try and pick these decks. So, yeah, enough rambling. Let's get into it. But actually, before we get into it, don't forget to leave, like the video. It helps a lot with the channel. YouTube really looks for likes and comments and stuff on videos so it helps the channel a lot and yeah let's get into it so first up zoo don't really want to talk about zoo much it's just a good solid deck it's still good so it's been around for a couple of weeks now next up we have uh a madam web type uh for deck the idea here is that you can hopefully get madam web in the lockjaw list in lane should i say list lane so you can move cards around right so you can madam web a lane and put lock jar in there and then you can move a card out each turn so you can keep lock jar in pretty nice idea if, if you can get it going if not the deck's still great anyways next up we have an agatha list there's quite a lot of different versions of agatha going around like a lot of it is very similar to this with the discard package oops sorry Hmm. The discard package, right? Where you have the Black Knight, Moon Knight, Lady Sif, of course, Wave. And then you have the Black Bolt stuff and stature. And then the rest of it's kind of like Bob, Makari. They kind of flex slots. You put whatever you want in here. Put number one in here. Put a free whatever you want. Pretty good. Agatha being playable is nice. But, you know. Whether it's that good, we'll see. Uh, next up, we just have a Hit Monkey deck. Kind of straightforward. You got a lot of cheap cards here. You're going to get Bishop big. You got Mysterio. We're not really that big. So you got US Agent for any five, six, seven drops, whatever. All right. Uh, the only one you got to worry about is your Gwenpool. Don't put it in your US Agent lane. But you know, no one's going to do that. Gwenpool to buff up some of these. You can buff up your Mysterio. And then hit with a Mysterio key, hit monkey on the last turn if you want. Or you know you've got hope in here for extra energy. Pretty straightforward hit monkey deck, but it's real nice. I love that type of deck. Next up we have a toxic deck. Not really much to say about this. It's high evo stuff. You've got Hazmite, you've got Scorpion, Silver Sable, US Agent, Cassandra, Red Guardian, Cyclops, Man Thing. All gonna be lowering people's power, making Ajax big, making Abomination cheap and you love to see it right you just lower everyone's power and then you drop some big power pretty good next up we just have oh sorry Ooh. next up we have this uh black ball list just been going around for a while right this is like a couple months old like this type of deck a deck uh, with uh moon knight and stuff like that there's not much Else, but I just want to show that it's still playable. Not much to talk about because we've talked about it before. Then again, Arishim still very playable. Loki on one is kind of insane, which is a little bit wild, right? Because then you lower your deck, which lowers any Cassandra type players against you. You get their cards for cheaper, and you get some. You already have a hand of cards, so it's pretty nice. Uh, next up, discard. Discard is in a solid spot oh my god this card's been in a solid spot for a little while now you can get out some power but these cards are uh, the benefit from people not interacting with them like no cosmos and enchantresses and shadow kings and stuff like that to just lower everyone's power so it gets along and does pretty well in the meta next up we have this is a war machine deck, right? There's plenty of ways war machine. God, I can't stop you. I'm oh, sorry. Ugh. War machine would be buff this week. A lot of people are relying on like the Storm Legion stuff, but the Goose is also a great play, right? You can lock down a lane with Goose, and then obviously you've got war machines that you can play anywhere. Uh, just like the Storm Legion stuff. It's a two cube farmer, right? So. Pretty much people are going to see it coming, so you maybe get one cube, maybe you get two. It's not it's not an eight cube type deck, really, unless you're playing against someone that hasn't played against it, really. Uh, lastly, we have... <laughs> Bit of an ongoing deck. You've got your war machine here again. 
don't know what the war machine's in here really for. I mean, I guess so you can play in the Ebony Maw lane. Protect it with armor and stuff like that, but... Yeah. We you miss Marvel. It's just an ongoing card, right? It's just... There's nothing special about it. It's just an ongoing. I do feel like it's a bit of a waste, but I, I see why it's in here for the Ebony Maw. But... I, I'm not sure on it, but... Who knows? Ongoing. Never really. Hasn't found a spot in a long time, so worth trying with the Ebony Maw War Machine. Anyways, that's enough rambling for me. Don't forget to like the video. Helps a lot, and I will catch you tomorrow for another video. Peace.